Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video of Just Hack It, we're going to be looking out this quad over here. This is a custom build Mobular 6 and we're going to be making it more responsive towards the PID settings and also we're going to be making it more powerful. By using the word powerful, I don't mean to increase the thrust at all because thrust is something which is static in nature and it will not going to increase. But we will increase the torque of this motors which in turn will going to give us some good yaw authority. Now, before we proceed, I want to clarify that uh, this entire mod section will come at a cost and that cost is the amount of flight time since you are going to be increasing the thrust and the responsiveness or the thrust torque of this motor the amount of uh, current which will be consumed by the quad will also increase so there is a trade-off between long flight time or responsiveness of the quad so there are three things which we're going to be doing the first thing is we're going to be tweaking the starter power for those guys who don't know what starter power is starter power is a, like a limit which is uh, in the esc setting and prevents the amount of current which goes into the motor during a change in rpm or change in torque so we are going to increase it to the maximum and by doing it to the maximum we will allow more current to be supplied uh, instantaneously so your quad will become overall more powerful but this comes at a cost and that cost is increased uh, noise in your entire system and also more uh, current consumption so and you'll also have to tune your entire build again so make sure that you're ready for it and one more thing is that you want to also risk burning your components so in case if you uh, want to say on stiffer side, you can install a low ESR capacitor or on your this entire build, which I have installed right over here. So make sure that you have installed that capacitor. So it's going to prevent your build from any kind of damage, electrical damage, which will be caused by increasing the ramp of power. Now, the second thing on which we are going to work is motor timing. Now, we have to use high motor timing in order to increase the power limit of the motor or the amount of power which ESC can supply. So by increasing the uh, motor timing to high, you want to make sure that uh, the overall power consumption of the motor is increased and which will give you more responsiveness. But overall, it will also going to reduce uh, the flight time of your build. So that was another thing. And now we're going to be moving on to the third thing and which is using a lower PWM frequency. By using a lower PWM frequency, you want to notice that you have more torque going into your motor. So which will gonna again increase the responsiveness of your motor and overall response time to your PID loops. And now this is, uh, I'm also going to include a bonus fourth thing, which is uh, increasing the value of feed forward. So in case if you don't know, increasing the value of feed forward will also gonna increase the response. Uh, it will also gonna reduce the response time of your entire quad. So that is a little bit a subjective side and it depends on the build to build. So that's something which you can tweak on for yourself. And for the rest of the things, I'm gonna be flashing the entire screenshot again. So in case if you don't miss anything, and for this particular build, I'm using a JSC configuration. So make sure that uh, you are using a JSC or Blue J ESC firmware. Don't use Jazz Maverick. It's garbage. Uh, now let's move on to the video comparison between them. And you can see the throttle position and the battery voltage. 